Hey there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about the layout triggers. So layout triggers basically deals with the sheets and the sheet objects. As you can see we have table or list boxes and these sheet like main sheet and sheet one. All of these triggers basically helps us performing these predefined uh, trigger actions uh, based on our requirement. So here are a couple of uh, uh, that the buttons that I have used to demonstrate the actions and uh, there is one uh, button which is in this sheet sheet one and i'll tell you once i reach there that why it is ha it is here in this sheet so let's go back to the main sheet and here the first trigger that i have is uh, activate table so before telling you how to perform the action or what action it is actually going to perform and see the result let's go back and uh, see how to define it so activate table uh, can be found here in add under the layout action type you have activate activate object so you click ok and it will appear here like the one i have it over there earlier defined for this example for this video so i'll just click delete for this as of now and i'll just select this one activate object trigger and uh, the object id is one thing that you need to specify to define which object you need to activate so how to find this object id very simple let's go back by clicking cancel if i right click here and go on the properties here is the object id uh, that you need to get to do the do that operation so if you copy this and uh, go back again in this trigger and specify over here and just click ok then your configuration is complete and now you can perform your uh, desired trigger so once i click activate the yearly sales uh, table will be highlighted or selected or activated so if i click this you can see this the color of the uh, caption change caption bar change to a darker gray color so if I have to do it again, I just click outside and it is now deactivated. To activate again, I'll just click and it has become a little darker, showing us that uh, triggers is performing the required action. So the next uh, trigger that I have is uh, activate sheet one. So this is basically specifying a particular sheet that we want to activate. Again, for this, we need to know the sheet ID. How to do that, how to figure out the sheet ID is also simple. You right click on the sheet. First, you need to select it like I selected just now and right click on this and go to sheet properties. And similarly, you have SH02 as your sheet ID. You can define your own sheet ID like by typing ABC or my sheet or something like that. So I'll, for now, I will just leave it like SH02, right? Or just click cancel to to leave it as it is so again going back and seeing what was earlier mentioned there it is sh02 so that's what we need to copy and uh, specify if we want to have a desired sheet to be activated and that's what i mentioned earlier so this activate sheet again you will find it in layout and activate sheet once you click ok your uh, action will appear here and you need to specify the sheet id which you want to activate click ok and once you once your configuration is done you click sheet activate sheet one now the sheet one is activated and this button is like as you can see this is to activate the previous sheet this one which is just prior to the sheet one so let's click here and as you can see the main is activated but again going back and uh, going back to sheet one and seeing its configuration very quickly to understand it so right click on this button go to properties and it's a very simple one you just need to select the trigger and everything every configuration is done where to find it you need to click add under layout activate previous sheet that's it that's all you need to do and you are done so activate previous sheet so we just saw activate sheet one activate next sheet is also similar to activate previous sheet what it will going to do irrespective of the sheet name or whatever it will going to activate 
the sheet which is right after the main sheet so for that if i just click activate next sheet this is what it is uh, activating and uh, how it is doing that it's also very simple like the activate previous sheet you just need to select the activate next sheet trigger from the list of triggers under the layout action type like activate next sheet okay so click cancel so for now just to perform that action and uh, next let's go to the minimize table uh, so here we have specified the table id which is here when you click right click and uh, have the object id and if i click minimize table it will going to minimize this table so what it does is basically behind the scene uh, it has this minimize object trigger which you can find it in layout and minimize object trigger and you need to specify the object name the object which you uh, want to minimize so to restore that we need to click on this restore object and it will going to restore again for restore object you need to specify the object id like the one we have specified over here and where to find again the same place under layout you will have uh, the restore object trigger for the action that's what it will going to do maximize object maximize object will going to maximize this sheet uh, uh, this table so that if i just click on this and uh, you can see the table is maximized to return it to a, a normal position we will click on the, again the restore object so the restore will going to restore the sheet check from maximize to its original position and how maximize object is doing that is very simple and similar to minimize and restore object it is again using the object id the object name which on which you want to perform this action and in the similar way the action can be found here under layout the maximize object so these are all the different types of actions that you can perform sometimes it is very very useful to do this operation because of the kind of connection you want to make between different sheets or you want to perform certain operations on on a particular type of object like uh, if an object is having too many value you may want to maximize it uh, to further analyze it so you can actually have a very specific button mentioned over there that uh, expand this chart or uh, you know maximize this chart some kind of an operation where it is intuitive enough for the user to do that operation and better consume the information you are trying to present well the operations or the configurations uh, are very simple here uh, that you need to do related to layout triggers and I hope uh, this has provided you uh, some additional information and uh, that will going to benefit while you design your dashboards and report. So that, that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss in this video and we'll meet you in the next video with a new topic. Till then, bye-bye.